and you are looking at live pictures from that convention floor in Cleveland, and we have that convention set to open uh, about an hour from now. Our Hala Garani is there, and she's uh, at the convention. One of the Republican, you have one of the Republican delegates with you, Ashley Bell. I mean, it is an extraordinary set of events, really, for this uh, curtain riser there to the convention. It certainly is. You have big name Republicans who aren't even showing up. You have others who are showing up reluctantly. Marco Rubio, for instance, of Florida, who ran as a candidate in this presidential election, is taping an address that will be played here. He's not showing up in person. The establishment has for months been uneasy about this quote unquote coronation of Donald Trump, the anti establishment candidate. And as you mentioned, I have a delegate here, someone who will be, he says, throwing his support behind Donald Trump from the state of Georgia, Ashley Bell, and he joins me now. Thanks Thank for you. being with us. No, so you. you are going to, if this is your party's nominee and it looks like Donald Trump will be the Republican exactly. nominee, you're going to go ahead and vote for him and support him. Why? A hundred percent. If Donald Trump's our nominee, I'm, I'm going to support him. You know, I think back to that first what? debate and I remember all the candidates getting on stage and being asked the question, who's going to support the nominee? Well, the only person who didn't raise their hand was Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And now the rest of those, a lot of those other candidates have not supported him. So I believe there's a, there's a, there's a part of being a Republican you have to support the nominee, so I'm there. You have a problem in the party that is very obvious. Yes. By the very absence of some of the establishment figures. Right. This is a divided party. There is a lot of, uh, many of the people who are showing up here today, and perhaps you, you might be right. reluctant. How You'll, are you going to unify this party again? Well, it's going to take Donald Trump to unify this party. Uh, everyone wants a Republican nominee mm -hmm. who's conservative, who believes in free markets and free people. Okay. And if we can get Donald Trump to start talking about free markets again and talking about things that Republicans like and picking my... Uh, uh, Governor Pence was a big part of that yeah. because he's a social conservative. You were conservative. happy with the, with the Mike Pence selection for the ticket? Well, I can tell you, Republicans are more familiar with Mike Pence than they yeah. are with Donald Trump's policy position. Yeah. So, yeah, we were excited about it. I think he's a great pick for social conservatives. I think he's a great pick for those rock rib Republicans who want to see someone who understands fiscal conservatives. I think the obvious question for people watching us, Ashley Bell, right. you're African-American. Uh, Donald Trump has said things 6th of June 2016 referring right. to a black man in the crowd. Look at my African American over right, there. Right. That didn't bother you? Of course it did. Uh, I got a list of things that bother me. Yeah. Uh, with the things that Donald Trump has said. Uh, what he said about Judge Curio, I, I was one of the first to come out and said that is textbook racism. Mm -hmm. This is a candidate that has stumbled on his own message many, many times. I want to win. But I want to win the right way. Mm -hmm. And the way you win the right way is that you respect all voters. And respecting voters means that you're not, don't say racist things, you don't try to offend people. So hopefully this convention is our turning point as a party. But do you see how this is contradictory to some people? That wow. on the one hand you say he said racist things, not just about African Americans, yes. about Hispanic yes. Americans. He said maybe <clears throat> sexist things. I mm -hmm. think you might agree with that. And yet you're supporting him. So because, how does how, how could work that out for me? If because of what, this is what's going to unify this convention. Yeah. Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. I used to be a Democrat. I can tell you things that Clinton has that Clinton said that made me feel uncomfortable as an African American as well. Okay. There's no perfect candidate on the ballot, mm -hmm. but the candidate that has gives my party and America the best chance of turning a corner and becoming a free country with free people again mm -hmm. is going to be Donald Trump. Okay. So Hillary Clinton is going to unify everyone in this convention today because we've seen her leadership. We know what she did as Secretary of State. You're going to hear from people, Ghazi mother today at, the, at this convention. And she's going to remind America of the failed policies of this administration and the Clinton secretary, when she was secretary Here's of state. another question I have for you. You define yourself as a social conservative, right? Right. Donald Trump doesn't embody those values according to many people. He's been married three times, he said things about women, et cetera, et cetera. I can go through a list of people who oppose some of the things that he embodies in his everyday life that do not necessarily match up with social conservatism. Well, I think there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. I consider myself a Christian evangelical, but part of that is understanding that it's not my job to judge, only God judges. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to try to judge Donald Trump's life by anybody's litmus test. But what I can say is that he says he believes, mm -hmm. and that's all it requires in our faith. Okay. So Mike Pence is someone who has had a long history of being someone who's been a strong social conservative, and we're with him. I told you I was going to show this USA Today Correct. front page. Trump Nation, they're not cliches who are Donald Trump supporters. Correct. One of the things you might notice on this front page is there's basically about two minorities in the 50 states. There really is an issue here with minority voters. Let me tell there? you, and that's a good point. And the point here is this. 
I want to feel comfortable that Donald Trump has people of color around him who are advising him mm -hmm. on some of the policies that affect people of color. You have the National Diversity Coalition for Trump, uh, led by Bruce Lavelle, another Georgia delegate. I would like to see someone like Bruce a part of the campaign and mm -hmm. not just a part of an auxiliary group. We need people who understand the policies and the people in the communities who are part of this campaign. We've yeah. yet to see that yet, and hopefully by me mentioning and pushing it, hopefully I will see it before this the convention is over. Ashley Bell, we appreciate your time with us today. Thank you very much. A GOP delegate from Georgia Thank who you. is going to be supporting Donald Trump at this convention here in Cleveland. We'll have a lot more.